We are going to be talking about understanding direct proportion again today. Today we're going to be looking at understanding direct proportion from an equation when you already have the equation. In a previous video you learned that when we're talking about the equation of direct proportion, we're saying y equals kx, where k is the constant of proportionality, x is our independent variable, and y is our dependent variable y won't always be y, and x won't always be x. We might use other variables in there. <clears throat> Let's look at another way we might be able to write this equation. Sometimes you might see this equation where it's solved for k, meaning k is isolated by itself on one side of the equal sign. Right now we have k times x, or k multiplied by x. If we wanted to get k by itself, we would then have to divide by x. So if we divided both sides of our equal sign by x using our inverse operations, just like we would in a one-step equation, here we have x over x. Another way of writing this would be y over x equals k, or k equals y over x. So two ways you might see the direct proportion or direct variation equation written is y equals kx, like we had talked about before. Or you might see k equals y over x. So you need to make sure that you understand that both of these equations are equivalent. They mean the same thing. This question is asking if our equation represents a direct proportion. We have 2x equals 3y. When it's written like this, it's slightly hard to tell. So we have our two equations that we know. y equals kx, which also is sometimes written as k equals y divided by x. So let's see if we can get our equation 2x plus 3y to look something like one of these two. So I'm going to solve for y, meaning I'm going to isolate y on one side of the equal sign. So I'm going to look at the side of the equation that has the y, which is this one, the right side, 3y. It currently says 3y, or 3 times y. I'm going to use my inverse operation by dividing both sides of my equal sign by 3, so that I get the y by itself on one side of the equal sign. So now I have 2 thirds x equals y. I can use my symmetric property to rewrite that as y equals 2 thirds x. So now I'm going to look to see if that looks like one of these two equations. y equals kx. Yes, that looks exactly like this. y equals 2 thirds x, where your constant of proportionality is 2 thirds. So I can say that this equation is a direct proportion equation. Here we have another equation, y plus 3 equals 2x. Again, it's kind of hard to tell the way it's written, so we want to get our equation written in either of these formats. I think it's easier if you try to solve for y to see if we have an equation of direct proportion or direct variation. <clears throat> so I'm going to look at the side of the equation that has the y. In this case, it's y plus 3. I want to isolate the y, meaning get the y by itself. I'm going to do that by using my inverse operations. It currently says y plus 3. I know the inverse of adding 3 is to subtract 3. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of my equation. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. Must subtract 3 from both sides of the equal sign. My plus 3 minus 3 here are my additive inverse. They add together to equal just y. Well, excuse me. Positive 3 and at negative 3 add together to equal 0. So on that side of the equation, I have left just y. On the right side of my equation, my 2x minus 3, that's not going to simplify because remember, those are not like terms. So what I have left here is actually going to be 2x minus 3. I can't simplify that. So I want to see, does this look like either of my two equations? It really doesn't, because here I have y equals 2x minus 3. And in both of my 
equations representing direct proportion, I'm not adding or subtracting anything. So I, this is not an equation of direct proportion. Here I have one more example. I have 2y equals x. Again, I want to try to solve for y, isolate the y, in order to see if this equation will end up looking something like this. So here on the left side of my equation is my y. It says 2y, which I know means 2 times y. In order to isolate the y, I'm going to use my inverse operation and divide both sides of my equal sign by 2. 2 over 2 is 1, and I get y equals x over 2, or x divided by 2. That's really hard to tell because I'm not adding or subtracting anything. So let me see if there's another way to write y equals x divided by 2. And you should know that dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by a half. That's the same as dividing by 3 is the same as multiplying by 1 third, or dividing by 4 is the same as multiplying by 1 fourth. So I can rewrite this equation as y equals 1 half times x, or 1 half x. So now looking at my equations of direct proportion, y equals kx, this does look like this equation, where 1 half would be my constant of proportionality, or k. So I can say that this equation is a direct proportional equation.